Hey, we have with us in the studio Nikita Fima. She is a free diving instructor as well as a mermaid. And a real life an mermaid. Athlete. An athlete, of course. Yes. Uh, now, uh, good morning, Nikita. Thank you for joining us here today. Good morning. I mean, you played good as an arrow, by the way. I just need to say that. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's coming out next year, right? Yeah, yeah. March I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so She's excited. very excited about the uh, new Little Mermaid coming. <laughs> but let's talk a little bit uh, about your, what it is that you do, free diving. Tell us a little bit about free diving and how you ended up choosing this as your career path. Okay. As we can see, free diving is a diving without any equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we hold our breath to go down okay. and to go deeper. So, so it's measured by distance, like mm -hmm. how deep you can go under one breath, yes, correct? Yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are different types of free diving. Can you explain the differences? Uh, we have two types of free diving. Okay. The competitive free divers yeah. and the recreational free divers. Okay. So the competitive one who wants to go for the competitions yeah. and go as deep as you can, yeah. push the limit. For the recreational free divers, they just go to enjoy the ocean okay. and maybe do some free diving exercise just for a lifestyle. Right. Or, you know, just having fun in the pool with friends. Right. So uh, that's a question that I also want to ask. But, but, but first and foremost, do you need to know how to dive before you're free diving? Or at least you know how to swim, you can free dive? It will be a lot benefit for you to start free diving right. if you'll be able to swimming. Mm -hmm. but. It doesn't necessarily need because okay. we will do free diving with the uh, equipment that can move ourselves to go further with the right. fins. Right. So it, the finning, it's a uh, natural things that we do like walking. Right. right. So okay. It doesn't need a lot of swimming skill requirements uh -huh. to to do free diving. So yes. Even for people who cannot swimming at mm -hmm. all, they can still go for free, free diving course. So it's oh, like okay. basically the kicking motion of right. when you're yes. using the flippers. So yes. free diving itself, what I've seen is that they connect a cable all the way down below yes. the depths of the sea. Mm -hmm. Very scary stuff. I'm scared of that. <laughs> you have to imagine and, right. and it's dark too. So basically what you do is you try to d dive in that line as far as you can go. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's uh, measured by distance as well as time, correct? No, time no. we don't... It doesn't uh, matter about the time. It doesn't matter. So in, in the ocean, we, did, we didn't count the time. Okay. But in the pool, with other disciplines who mm -hmm. can hold their breath longer, we count the time. We call it static apnea. Okay, mm. all right. Okay. So for the depth, we call it la constant. They have three. Uh -huh. We call it constant weight to go down with the fins. Uh -huh. Constant weight, no fins. Okay. We go down without uh, any fins. Yeah. And then the free immersion, we go down by pulling the rope. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Which one is the hardest for you? I mean, for anyone, let's say. For everyone? Yeah. The no fins. Right. Because very, you don't have any help. <laughs> you don't have any help, yeah. any assistance. So, yeah. the, um, I forgot the term for it, but when you go into, uh, the deeper you go into the sea, there is, uh, your body needs to adjust, correct? Mm -hmm. So, it's like when you go scuba diving, mm -hmm. you, you can't like just go as deep as you can and then yeah, come up mm -hmm. as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, is, is that true where you have to go to a certain, when you reach a certain depth, even when you start to come up, you cannot just mm -hmm. come all the way up. You just uh, have to go in stages. Is that it's right? different with scuba diving. In okay. scuba diving, because we inhale the air in the water, mm -hmm. so we need to to exhale the nitrogen that we oh, we right. breathe from the tank. Right. In free diving, we just inhale one breath from yeah. the surface, and then we carry that breath until the, the certain depth, and then yeah. we come up to the surface and exhale with a certain amount, right. with the amount that we carry from the surface. So yeah. you're so only exhaling on the way up. Yes, correct. Wow. How long do you like? Do you train your lungs and exercise your lungs? Because how long can you hold your breath? By the way, Nikita, I can hold my breath for five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes. <laughs> That's like Whoa. one and a half songs. <laughs> I know songs that don't even go to five minutes long. Oh my gosh! This is something wow. that you you train for. I mean. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is something you have to build up strength for within mm -hmm. your lung, your lung yes, capacity. Correct. So this is the, the train. What is involved in the training when it comes to holding one's breath for so long? Um, okay, um, I have to tell a story about my background first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I before I start uh, before I start to become an athlete, mm -hmm. I was working as a mermaid in the aquarium. So yes. The the training 
is improving every time I do the show. Okay. Wow. So I train at my daily work. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's explain what a mermaid show is first yeah. of all. A mermaid show is when there's a giant aquarium. Yes. And then basically you're performing as a mermaid, but the entire time you're holding your breath because a mermaid mm -hmm. is underwater. So the yes. entire show is held underwater. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to hold your breath for minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. And you only come up every now and then. Correct? Yes, yes. I watch you, by the way, I mean, a couple times since I've been there before even the pandemic. And <laughs> it's so, I mean, it's just so interesting and it's just you know it's wild because you were like swimming and you're doing the performing and then you just come up for like you pop up for like a couple of seconds and you'll be back again <laughs> yeah. for like a couple I of minutes. I would be very yeah. nervous watching that yeah. show because I'd be counting how long oh, I would I, I, I was just so happy seeing her as a mermaid like, I didn't know you know the steps and the process but let's talk about you Nikita you're since 2017 you won several diving competition mm -hmm. both national and also international congratulations mm -hmm. thank you so um you know again you were saying the exercise that, that you were doing as a mermaid really does mm -hmm. help for you yes. but you succeeded in reaching 60 meters underwater mm. in one breath mm. um how do you do that um we we uh attempt the depth gradually okay so the free diver who can go down like 100 meters mm -hmm. they need some time to attempt the depth okay. right so from the beginning i started free diving i trained myself to go deep maybe for the for example the first time i did 10 meters and then if you want to go to 30 meters, you need to adapt the, ten, adapt the depth mm -hmm. gradually. Okay. So from 10 and then 15 and then 20 and 25. And then you check on yourself if you still can do the depth or not. Right. So if you cannot do the depth uh, in terms of the strength, mm -hmm. you need to have the pool session for training okay. your strength or the workout in the dry, like right. doing legs workout, core workout. So after you feel stronger, then you can go to the ocean to attempt the depth. So we cannot do the training all the way in the ocean, like over and over, because oh, it will be tiring and right. you, the depth consume a lot of calories and right. it will consume your muscles too. So oh. you need to build muscle, muscle in the dry before okay. you go to the ocean. So there's a lot of physical training involved as yes, well before yes. you do. I'm curious as well, um, from what I know, the deeper you go in the water, the more water pressure there is on your body, correct? Yes, correct. So, as you go deeper, it actually gets more difficult, incrementally more difficult as you go deeper. Mm -hmm. So, the only way to prepare yourself for the actual competition itself mm -hmm. is to actually go that deep because then yes. you have to experience the pressure. Yes, itself. correct. What is the pressure like at 60 meters? It's like a big elephant. Step on your oh chest. Oh my goodness! That's the last thing I want to hear. <laughs> no. Okay, no. so it just—it just the first time you felt on the depth. So right. all the students who felt the depth for the first time, mm -hmm. they will feel the pressure. It's yeah. normal, okay. okay, because you feel the pressure, yes. and then our body is very unique. It can adapt. Mm. Okay. So the second you did the depth, you, you will It'll not feel, feel it anymore. Oh, right. Really. Yeah. So um, also in, in regards to this pressure, it just makes it that much more difficult to hold your breath too, right? Because then it's added pressure yes. on your lungs, yes, on your correct. entire body. That's, yeah, that's why free diving requires uh, relaxation. Now that's one. Uh, how how do you manage though to like for you to know like maybe this is my body limit? Like you like you were yeah. saying you were suffocating. How would you know not to go further? Because again, there's that obsession mm -hmm. or your ambition that I need to go further, mm -hmm. but then your body's already telling you the signal like. Maybe this is enough. So the limit is actually on your mind. Okay. Mm. So when you start feel that this is my limit, and then you did the second dive, right? You can do like you feel a lot better than the first dive. Mm -hmm. So you have the it's you the have the motivation yeah, right. to go deeper. So actually, what limits you? It's only on your mind. Uh -huh. So people who who feel that they cannot go deep because yeah. they block their mind to yeah. go deep. They don't allow their body to go deep. You, you Do you need a buddy too, right? Hmm? Do you need a buddy, uh, like yes. a friend? Yes, yes. When you free dive, yeah. Okay, because that's one of like the regulations. Hmm. Yes, okay. correct. And you also mentioned that um, relaxation is important. But what I know about sports, especially more extreme sports, is that your adrenaline builds up, and mm -hmm. then your heart beats faster. Mm -hmm. It seems to be counterproductive. Yes, How do you correct. maintain that calm and relaxation so that you're not wasting your energy and your breath, you're conserving, mm -hmm. but at the same time, the deeper you go, I'm sure your, your adrenaline is also building up. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's a good question. So every time I go deep, I got excited. Right. 
But in the same time, I, I approach the free diving as a relaxation and mind clearing, as a meditation. Ah. So when I started free, uh, free diving competition, they have the countdown to go to do the attempt. Mm. So every time I hear the judge doing the countdown, mm -hmm. my mind just switch to the meditation mode. Wow. Like oh. an automatic, like okay. I'll be probably like hold your breath. Hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. Hold your In the breath. beginning, once I was so I, nervous. Once I hear like, the countdown, I'll be getting more nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets <laughs> Oh my goodness. So it's just a matter of uh, experience. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, it's experiences and you know time of practice too, and for doing it. Now you're also invited to Asia Dive Expo in Singapore. It's actually this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this week. to the 18th. Yeah. Tell us more about this. Asia Dive Expo, or we call it ADEX, mm -hmm. is the Asia's largest and longest running dive expo mm -hmm. and consumer and uh, dive trade. So they invite all the athletes, photographer, conservationists, biologists, ah, and all the people who have influence in the underwater world mm -hmm. and environment conservation, they mm -hmm. will speak in the ADEX. Mm -hmm. So we have also another Indonesian that also my one of my students, Kirana Larasati, yeah. is also an actress, yeah. and mm -hmm. she now passionate in diving, and she become uh, an ambassador of paddy diving. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Which is what the uh, the most uh, the no. internationally recognized certification yes. for diving yes, as well. Yes. Okay, so we both have kids. I hope <laughs> that and I pray that my child will never ask me that. Tell me that she wants to be a free driver, but in case, <laughs> but in case she does, I'll be very nervous as a parent. But in case she does, what advice do you have for parents who, uh, for kids to take up this hobby? Because I can imagine, this is a great discipline for those not only to train your body but to train your your a young one to ha have a strong mind, mm -hmm. to have control of their mind, yeah. mm -hmm. to be able to relax in very nervous situations. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a great skill to have. Correct. So, what would you suggest to parents? Starting out, for example, uh, should they just take swimming lessons first so they can be a strong swimmer? Should they practice being comfortable in the water? What sort of things should we have yes. leading up to taking I will up? suggest the parents who want their kids to try for diving, mm -hmm. they will be a benefit if they can swimming. Okay. So they can be comfortable in the water first right. because the kids uh, have a short focus Span. True. Yes. True. <laughs> so they need to be able to comfortable in the yeah. water before they taking the free diving course. The minimum right. for the kids is 14 years. Okay. 14 but years. But they can try earlier. Right. Like uh, try the free diving. Yes. Earlier age. So you were saying also before that that freestyle uh, free diving is like a lifestyle, right? If you mm -hmm. want, you don't want to be an athlete. Let's say you want to do that as a form of exercise. Mm -hmm. How would this benefit your body? Let's say, like, just like. For common people like me, like I want to try free diving, what would be the benefits for me? There's a lot of benefit from free diving. Mm -hmm. I've been, uh, I've been experienced a lot. So, when you free dive, you burn a lot of calories. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is benefit for the woman who wants to burn their really? calorie because free diving is anaerobic, anaerobic training, okay. and it burns like 700 times more than other sports. <laughs> I would have thought Ooh, that because, because you have to stay relaxed and calm. I wouldn't have thought it would have burned that much calories. Yeah. Where is this burning? Where are all these calories going? When, uh, when you move mm -hmm. in the water, it burns the calorie. Even when you hold your breath, you burn the calorie. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to start. Nikita, <laughs> yeah. be in touch. We are going to be in touch together. Yeah. All right, so, uh, you know, me and uh, Paul and I have never tried. Have you been? Have you tried free diving yet? Uh, never. I've tried, um, what is that called? Um, scuba not, diving? Not scuba diving even. Um, when you just Snorkeling? Use, snorkeling. Right. <laughs> that's about, the, that's that. about as far it's as I've gone. It's a good gone. start. Well, you do have to hold your exactly. breath a little bit, but exactly. I don't want to go that deep, you know? So we're kind of curious how to hold our breath underwater. So can you teach us how mm -hmm. we can okay. hold our, you know, breath yes. for a long time? We're going to try. Not like you, five minutes, yeah. at least for like a minute. I'll be happy with one seconds. minute. Okay. Yeah. So... The trick, you have to be relaxed. Okay. You have to uh, do your breathing mm -hmm. okay. as relaxed as you can. Mm -hmm. And then after you feel relaxed, you can take a full breath. Okay. You can take as much as you can okay. through your lung. Yeah. 
and and then you start holding your breath. Is it from your mouth or from your nose? So I have this mm -hmm. nose clip. Mm -hmm. okay. This will uh, put on your nose, okay. and then you can inhale from your mouth. Okay. okay. So it's better to yeah. take it into your mouth because you can get more yeah. oxygen yeah. that way, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you use that when you go underwater then? Yes, uh, I use this for the competition. Okay. okay. So what does that do? It prevents any oxygen from getting out to your nose. This is to, because you, when you go down, you need to equalize your ears. Oh, right. So I don't want to to pinch my nose every now and then right, just right. to equalize my okay. ear. So I use this. Okay. All right. right. So Nikita, can we try it? Okay, I, I want to try it first try it and then pause. First? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll watch you. I'll do it with you. I'll, I'll do it on my yeah, own. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> he, he, he's a, he can do it. He can do it better than me, but I want to try this one. So I have to open my mask, right? You have to okay. open your mask. Right? So, um, I never thought about that because when you go deep in the water or if you go high up in the air, you do get this popping sensation. Like you have to equalize. Yes, you, you have, have to, to equalize. Right, that's what that's for. I've always wondered. Okay. 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 So this uh -huh. you put on my nose, Pinch on your nose. nose. <laughs> okay. And then you press it. Will this it? make my nose <laughs> like? I like how your voice sounds when you have that. <laughs> okay. Press Caroline. It. 500 calories. 500 okay. calories. 500 okay. calories. I will count down. Ooh, she's gonna count you down. Don't get nervous. <laughs> Calm your mind. I'm gonna, you know, lose calories because of this, Caroline. Okay, if I black out, you, know, you don't have to do CPR, right, buddy? You sound, you sound hilarious. Make sure you will not uh, uh, exhale the air through your mouth. Can can you? If you can still exhale the air, you from my, my my nose, my, uh, your, yeah. your nose. Okay. No, no, okay. no. Okay. Yes. Tight. Okay. It looks pretty, pretty tight. tight. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You can count her down. And okay. Get ready. Okay. So she takes a deep breath at around three, right? Like three, and then she takes. And yes. Red two one. Yeah. Okay. So I will I will give like um, countdown. Countdown. Twenty seconds for you to take okay. your breathing Ooh. process. Okay. Be relaxed. Still like. All right. <laughs> okay. Gotta relax myself. All right. Got it. Okay. Not where your okay, lungs let's go. are. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh -huh. I will count twenty seconds. Okay. Breathe. Relax. Breathe. Relax. Take your. I should have got my delivery normal birth for this year. I got the contraction. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we will start in five, four, three, two, one. Take a full breath and start. Okay. So at this point in time, what should one be thinking about? Do you try to, because when you meditate, you clear your mind. Is that yes, what you normally yes. do? I, I thinking about how my body works and I usually I focus on my nerves. Oh. So okay. I wouldn't get distraction from anything i focus on my uh, heartbeat okay. i try to listening to my heartbeat i try to play music in my mind really so you yeah. don't think about time that's the last time, thing you should yeah, think yeah, about okay yeah, don't yeah. think about time by the way don't think don't about look time. at your watch don't look at you're your doing watch. great so far by the way <laughs> don't try not to move because you don't want to expel too yeah. much uh, energy so there. the more we think about something mm -hmm. the more oxygen we use for uh to burn Oh, your brain the, can do that as well. Yeah, so oh. everything we see, everything we think, it needs oxygen. Okay. So the more we work about something, mm -hmm. it will burn oxygen. Okay. So we will have the carbon dioxide getting increased. Okay, don't look at anything. Don't just... It's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Hey, yes. You hit the 60 second mark. Wow. Even though I shouldn't have told you, don't think about the time. Never mind, forget I said that. Okay, you're doing great, by the way. Wow. <laughs> so what is an average person's time of holding their breath? Someone who is not trained. One to one minute 30 oh. is an average. So she's... Hey, doing great so far. She did great. She did give birth to three children. So I'm, I think her breathing yeah, is very... Yeah, I'm uh, impressed. Yeah, so, you know, there you go. So yes. you are now at above average. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So you are oh, wow. right at the wow. top. Wow. One and a I'm half. impressed. Really? No, it's how one, many? It's that one was... minute 33. Yeah. Woo! Hey, good, good for you. Oh my goodness. So how did that feel? What, what was it like? Were you, what were you thinking about? Because you were, because you guys were talking, I was just listening to your voice. Oh, well, you were expending a lot of oxygen there. Yeah. <laughs> I was just Sorry listening. Well, but it's not as bad though. Yeah? Yeah. How I deep? would thought. How deep can someone go in about 90 seconds normally? For about this time? Yeah, for about time? that length of time. 1.30, I go to 20 for hey, beginners. Not bad oh, yeah. for a beginner, 20 meters. So the, the, interest is, the interesting thing, you can hold your breath 
uh, on the surface for one minute thirty, mm -hmm. and if you go to the water, you can do more because right. you get help from the mammal and death reflex. Mm -hmm. It can help you to conserve more oxygen. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. So people who can hold their breath on the surface, they can double the time usually on the wow. in the water. So right. you might. Be able to hold your breath for two minutes plus. And it really does two help minutes. while listening to you guys talk, mm -hmm. as opposed to like watching the time. Because <laughs> I, mean, I would be nervous just seeing the time. Right. But when you talk, it's like I'm just more calm, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It gives well, you, it takes your you focus guys. off it. Yeah. Because, uh, at least I'm not job. like, it's not a shameful time. <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, goodness. no, that's, that's impressive. All right. Yeah, that's but impressive. I will definitely, you know, join your class. Yeah, sure. definitely. She's very competitive, by the way. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> All right. So uh, after doing the challenge, maybe. You can, uh, you know, we have another challenge uh, for our mermaid. You're not little, but for our mermaid, our real life mermaid, to sing the song from the movie Little Mermaid ah. since uh, you're a finalist of a singing contest. What? Right? Yeah. No way. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's kind of unfair when somebody has I know, way too like much talent. It's just like multi talent, <laughs> by the way. Okay, all right. There you go then. I'm ready for this challenge, so we get to listen. All right. All right. Okay, okay so. You yes. may remove your mask so you can. Okay. <laughs> so you Finalist. I know. Okay. Yeah. So before I free dive, I was a singer. Really? Oh, does that wow. actually, that's probably helped you with your lung capacity because yeah, singers probably. need to have good yeah. lungs. Oh, yeah. the all right. Without any everything. further ado, yes. please welcome. Uh, what's the name of the song? Uh, part of the world. Uh, part of my, uh, part, part of, of the world. Part of the world. Of the world. Of okay, yes. there you go. All right. Without any further ado, please welcome. Nikita. Yay. Where's the music? Let's have it. <laughs> You know, the most amazing part is she was a mermaid <laughs> underwater, so she didn't even get to sing. Can yeah. you imagine if she got to sing as part of her oh performance? Nikita, you are so talented. You're a wonderful Thank person. You very Thank you much. so much for joining us here today. We Thank wish you, you my pleasure. success as well. And we know that you are going to be starting, or have you already started a mermaid school as well? Yes. Okay. I built a mermaid school and also free diving school in Jakarta. Okay. So I'm focusing on teaching okay. the students. Can you give the info if anyone wants to know more? How can uh, they find out yes. about it? They you can find out about my school at the website www.freedivingsociety.com and also okay. the mermaid www.jakartamermaidschool.com Ooh, my this daughter is, is going to love it. <laughs> 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 Thank you so Thank you much. So much. Nikita. My pleasure. All right, Thank we're going to take another short break here on the program, but we have more for you when we return here. Stay with us. The Sea Morning Show will be right back after I'm so this. excited. <laughs>